Hi, I am Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at VoiceBootCamp.com. In this video, we're going to talk about implementing and operating Cisco Collaboration core technologies. Now, this particular course will help you prepare for CCNP Collaboration and CCIE Collaboration Certification, and as well as give you advanced level uh, uh, knowledge in implementing and operating Cisco Collaboration solutions such as Unified Communication Manager, Unity Connections, and various other applications. Now you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to implement and deploy this core collaboration solution or technologies, including infrastructure, design, protocol, codecs, endpoint, uh, Cisco operating, uh, internet work operating system. You will learn about the media resources, call control, quality, as well as additional collaboration application. Now this course is designed to help you prepare for to prepare to take the exam uh, for implementing CISO core technologies such as 350-801 CL core exam. Also it will help you toward your CCIE collaboration. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you need to uh, understand about uh, Cisco collaboration is the architecture. Now architecture, which is uh, the biggest aspect of your design and implementation, uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to describe the Cisco collaboration architecture where you will explore the various aspect of the collaboration and element necessary to understand, deploy, manage today's collaboration network. Now first, we begin with the overview of the architecture. Now in this architecture, you lay down the foundation upon which all the components of unified communication are deployed. Now then you must understand the various uh, deployment models such as centralized uh, single site deployment model, uh, multi-site with centralized call processing, uh, multi-site with the distributed call processing, etc., etc., to meet the customer's needs. You will also need to understand that deployment model with uh, some of the uh, advantage and disadvantage because based on those advantages and disadvantage, sometimes you may have to choose a design mo uh, for a customer which although may not necessarily apply in a regular uh, uh, scenario but due to the restriction you may have to apply a, a design model that was not optimized for that type of customers so you will explore security requirement as well because as you know security it is one of the most important aspect of your collaboration of any or any infrastructure to be honest with you uh, security is a vital part of it so in this particular mo uh, course you will learn about certificates uh, trust list You'll learn how to generate certificates, how to configure certificate for various uh, collaboration application and uh, obtain a certificate from a third party or your own internal, doesn't matter. And you will learn how to apply security to the phones as well. Now then we will turn our attention to the heart of the collaboration system, which is Unified Communication Manager, where we are learning, where, where you will learn rather, how to ad, uh, define address to endpoints such as Cisco IP phone, uh, Java client, <coughs> you'll learn how to configure um, call routing, select uh, digit manipulation, translation, and uh, calling privileges as well. Finally, uh, at the end, you will learn how to uh, configure the protocols, codecs, uh, choosing the different codec based on different environment to, you know, sometimes you have to choose a codec to save bandwidth. Sometimes you have to choose a codec to get more calls than rather than worry about bandwidth. So we will talk about that. So let's begin with our uh, various topics. So, uh, we will, like I said, get into various components slow so step by step. There are four different other uh, four different other modules that you have for part of CCNP, and we will get to that if you are interested to achieve those four uh, exams, or if you are interested to learn about various other technologies such as Expressway. Cisco Meeting Server, WebEx, then you may look at some of our other courses that are available for under CCNP Collaboration Banner. Now just to let you know, as of February 24th, uh, 2020, Cisco has uh, rechanged or uh, remodified their certification requirements and CCNP Collaboration, in order for you to pass that, you need to be able to uh, complete the CL core exam which is a mandatory and then you have to choose one of the elective from the four other additional modules that you have now to be able to that is to just to pass the exam and pre become a CCNP collaboration certified however to be able to um, you know deploy this in a full real-world uh, solutions like a, or get a job as if you're new into a collaboration then you may want to look at 
uh, achieve uh, taking all the four courses or five courses that will ultimately give you the skills that will make you valuable and competitive in the market all right so this is very pretty much the introduction for this course i hope you will you got an idea as to what you're up against i will see you in the next video